You can't build a successful business online without high quality traffic. 87% of businesses that fail online fail because of this reason. They don't get enough traffic. The question is then, how do you generate high quality traffic even if you don't have high organic Google rankings and all the things that take years to develop? My name is Benson Sun and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to instantly generate thousands to tens of thousands of high quality traffic, even hundreds of thousands every single month to your business, even if you don't have Google or SEO rankings and you just launched your website yesterday. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you the exact frameworks, templates, everything you need to know step-by-step -step walk through how you can use digital advertising to amplify your traffic and build that organic traffic instead of it taking years, take months, or even weeks to be able to increase your traffic through this method. Now for now, I'm gonna walk you through the process and then at the end, I'll give you the specific link. This is the short-term and long-term way to be able to grow your business online and increase your traffic. Now there's multiple different platforms you can use. You can use Facebook, you can go into the ad builder, you can do these different campaigns, these ad sets and these ads. You can go on LinkedIn if you're in B2B, build these ads. You can go on Google, you can build Google search ads, you can also do display ads. You can go on YouTube and build video ads and even post ads as well. You can do some multiple different ways, but for now what I want you to focus on and keep it very simple for you with a small budget to amplify or even a big budget if you want and make a consistent driving traffic to your website is let's use Facebook because Facebook ads is one of the most comprehensive ones. They've spent a lot of money, millions of dollars, probably billions of dollars into building their advertising network to make sure it's on point and it's also got very powerful targeting capabilities. This is the point where your ideal audience persona that we talked about in the previous videos is gonna be very crucial. And it's gonna help you a lot in setting up the first foundation of being able to increase your website traffic is your audiences. We wanna go into the Facebook Insights tool. When you go on a Facebook Insights tool, on the left side you can see there's so many different categories, criteria that we can set for your target audience. And on the right side it's gonna show us based on the categories that we've set, what the demographic looks like, what's the targeting look like, and give you very detailed information. It's one of the most powerful and easiest tools that you can use to be able to build an audience using the Facebook Insights tool. And also later on when we move this over into the ad builder. So once we build the audience, we wanna focus on creating the ad. It's a simple campaign. So we wanna lead with a headline, we'll lead with a text. Maybe something simple like this. How to achieve the result that they want, your target audience without the objections or the challenges that they want to overcome and even if they have the, obje uh, the objections or things that they want to have in their mind move past. So essentially, let's say for example, if I'm helping digital marketers or helping entrepreneurs that want to learn how to drive more traffic, I would do this on the ad. I would show this, how to drive a ton of traffic to your website without spending a ton of time or money, even if you're just starting. You can personalize it for your target audience, you can put it on the ad, and then what you can do is you can also do a video or a creative here, a very simple image that shows more about your business or about your target audience. There's multiple different ways. I'll break this down in the expanded posts. But for now, just know that there's a text, there's a video or an image. And you have a call to action headline and a button below as well. So that's what's powerful about this is you can keep it very simple and very straightforward. Now let's take a look at an actual example of a business partner and a client of mine, Jay Abraham. One of the posts here that we're amplifying in terms of content to drive them to the website to engage with them more is we lead with this line. We talk about how to make a million dollars with no capital, no product or service, and no, no knowledge. We say, is this too good to be true? Because that's what we know people are thinking when they read that. Then we say, watch as Jay walks you through how his clients have done this and how you can too. That's the first line. The second one goes into then discover thousands of highly valuable build, business building resources Jay's accumulated over his 40 plus year career helping businesses and entrepreneurs around the world generate over $21.7 billion, all gratis. And there's a link to the website. And then it goes into the bottom, a call to action. Comment below with your ideas, questions after watching, tag a friend or colleague and share this with anyone you wanna add value to right now. And then we have a video of Jay just talking to the screen and we have a call headline, call to action below. It says learn more. And it has the headline of the actual video. Now you can see this is the one that drives into one of the resources and content portals that's on the website. All free resources, blog posts, podcasts, videos, everything that Jay is giving away for free. You can do the exact same process, just model after what the copy is, and then you can swap it out, use this template. This is just one template of the many that's gonna be in the expanded post on the Digital Marketing University. What's important for you to know is that the first audience that we built in the Facebook Insights tool, and the one that we're reaching out, is called the cold audience. The reason why it's called the cold audience 
is this essentially people that don't know anything about your business, they don't know anything about the content, they don't have the trust, they don't have the credibility, the relationship that they know about your business and who you represent or the products or services that you sell. So they're essentially brand new. That's why we call it the cold audience. They're very cold. They don't know much about you. You don't know much about them. So that's the goal of this cold audience is once we get them to a site, we want to start warming them up. We want to be able to reduce the friction and be able to add value to them, build trust and all these different things afterwards, once they're a cold audience, move them into the warm part of the audience. So make a note that the audience that you're building right now is the cold audience. This is going to be important because we're going to be having multiple different audiences that we're going to build and they're going to get warmer and warmer and warmer. And we're going to use them for different purposes to generate even more traffic for your website. We want to focus on setting up and using the campaigns and what is the structure for this? So what we want to do is we want to take your three highest performing pieces of content that's on your website, that's getting the most engagement, the best time on site, the less bounce rate, the least bounce rate. And at the same time, it's getting you a lot of traffic on those pages. We want to take the top three from a website. We want to put that into these campaigns and we want to put five to $10 a day where we just amplify it to the cold audience. And then we want to watch the click through rate. We want to watch your conversion rate and also the cost per click that people are costing. When someone clicks on the ad, how much is charging? You want to also look at the relevancy score on Facebook. This is one of the core metrics that we want to see and also the impressions. We want to make sure that before we decide if this is the bad ad or a bad piece of content for the cold audience, that we have at least 10,000 impressions on the ad itself. We want to get enough people and enough eyeballs on the ad to decide if it's a success or a failure, if we should amplify it or if we should cut it away. At the same time, we also want to look at the ad itself. We want to be testing two different ads at bare minimum with different headlines or different creatives, driving them to the same piece of content that's on your website. Once we find this out, you have three different pieces, the three core ones, and it's producing really well. You're getting a constant stream of traffic and it's increasing. Then we want to be able to add more. So let's say you have three ABC that's performing really well. A is performing great, B is performing great, C is not that great. You take away C and you test a different piece of content on there. You amplify it. If it's working great, then you add another one. You add D, you add E, you add F, you add all the different parts. And you want to make sure you have 10, all these 10 things, 10 campaigns that are driving traffic to your website with a small budget every single day based on the highest performing ads and highest performing content that's getting the most engagement and time on site once they land on the website. Now, one core thing you want to know is that as you're driving traffic to these pages, you want to make sure you have the Facebook pixel installed on the content pages and especially where we're spending the paid advertising to drive the traffic there. This is going to be important for two reasons. The first reason is we're going to be able to see our metrics. We're going to be able to know exactly where our click through rate, our cost per click is and all the different ways as they travel through our website using the Facebook pixel. The second thing we can do, which is the most important part, is that we're actually able to build a core audience based on the people that land on our site. So for example, we're able to build people that actually went on the site and they engage with the content. We can build that audience because once we have that audience, we can do multiple different things that we can amplify it. We can show them different ads. We show them more content and keep warming them up in the process. Once we have this, we rinse and repeat. We found out the highest performing ones. We keep amplifying it, setting up a new campaign, finding the 10 perfect ones and we're building the audiences based on the temporary ones and then we can do even more things in the next step. The next core step, why we want to do this once we have the three core pieces of content that we're amplifying through digital advertising on Facebook and we're building up this warm audience, there's two specific warm audiences that we're doing right now that's extremely important for you to know about. The first thing is the website custom audiences. And the website custom audiences is essentially you imagine people that click through your ad and they went through the piece of content on the page. As soon as they land on the page, they become part of the website custom audiences. The next core piece of an audience is called the engagement audience. So let's say you're showing a video through the ad. What you can actually do is you can actually build an audience based on how they're engaging on the Facebook platform. So for example, if someone watches your videos, you can actually build an audience of people that watch less than 25% of the video or more than 25% of the video. So the reason why I want to do this when we break it apart is because based on their engagement and based on the pages they visited, we can actually show them even more content to warm them up. So let's say for example, you are in the fitness space. If you visited a page where you're focusing on losing weight and you're engaged with that piece of content, even the video ad that you saw on Facebook, you watched more than 25% of that video, then what you can actually do is I'm going to show you even more content on how you can lose weight 
using different tools, using supplements, or using different exercises. You keep adding more value, keep adding things, because that's what you know from the cold audience that we just ran that they're engaging with. So we want to show them more of what they want. And then if we want people that did engage with it, we want to change the topic overall. So for people that let's say watch the ad on let's say losing weight, they watch less than 25% or they didn't even click on the ad, then what we want to do is we want to show them let's say on an article or a piece of content on how to build more muscle. So we want to change the result or change the problem that they want to solve and hit them from a different angle. That's the most important thing that I just said. You wanna hit them from a different angle for people that aren't engaged and aren't interested in the main piece of content that you show them. And if they are interested in it, then show them more of that specific thing. That's what we do on the Digital Marketing University on bensonson.com. If you go on the page Digital Marketing University or you land on the homepage and then you go on the traffic side and then you're on the page and you're watching the videos, then I'm gonna show you even more on how you can build traffic using the different roadmaps. If you're liking copywriting or you're liking digital advertising, I'm gonna show you more of that content. If you don't like it, I'm gonna change it overall to sales or I'm gonna change it overall to generating leads and building a community. So whatever it is, I'm increasing what's working and decreasing what's not and changing the angle. That's the process that you want to go through in order to be able to build solid warm audiences through website custom audiences and engagement. And what's great about Facebook is you're able to not just build audiences on 25% more or less of the engagement audience, is you're actually able to build it based on if they watch your video for three seconds, 10 seconds, 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%, different levels of engagement, you can build an audience for that. At the same time, you can build an engagement through people that like your page, people that engage with your content, people that are extremely engaged or people that aren't engaged, or even people or friends of people that like your specific page. Facebook is so robust, they can give you different ways to target, but the most important one you wanna focus on is especially if you're using a video, is the engagement audience through the different percentages that I just mentioned. But don't get too distracted, just focus on the one 25% more or 25% less. Once you have those, you show more of the things that people engage with, the same content, adding more value that they're interested in, and the ones that aren't interested, you change the topic completely, and you see if that works really well. Just start by doing that one tier, that one campaign. Don't go into crazy depths, you can go really insane with this, but focus on just the first tier. Cold audience, they go on the website, they engage with the content, show them more. They didn't engage with the content, show them something different. That's it, just do two steps right there. Focus on that. Now an advanced tip for people that are saying, hey, this is pretty simple and you wanna get more extreme, what you can do, and this is what I do for my businesses and clients, is if you really wanna amplify and get great results, we take the first two steps that I just taught you, doing the cold audiences, building engaged and website audiences. Now we don't just focus on Facebook. What we do is we amplify this on LinkedIn if you're in B2B. We focus on amplifying Google and YouTube. We focus on amplifying on Twitter and also third-party advertising networks for display, using Outbrain, using Taboola, using all these different things, all these ad networks we amplify even more and we do remarketing across the board. I call this as the ecosystems. You have multiple different ecosystems that connect together based on different ad platforms. Now to some of you, I know it's gonna be overwhelming to hear about this, but don't worry about this advanced tip if you are not at this stage yet. This is only for businesses that already focus on having really solid digital advertising on Facebook, on YouTube, Google, and do cross-channel advertising, and they wanna amplify it even more with remarketing. We can go advanced, but for now, just keep it simple. But if you are advanced, that's what you wanna do is you wanna amplify it from the cold audience and even your warm audience, and you wanna remarket across the board using different messages that they're interested or not interested in. And then later on, you can also do campaigns for awareness, for indoctrination, for conversion and extension as well. These are four core stages based on each ecosystem and each ad network. So that's one of the things you can get into if you want more advanced results and even better results for your business online. Now that you know how to use digital advertising to instantly generate traffic, regardless if you're high ranking on Google or using SEO for years, you can do this in a matter of days to be able to generate traffic based on your highest performing content and amplifying it with Facebook. It's a simple one direction advertising. Now as promised, I'm gonna give you the exact frameworks, templates and tools, the paid advertising campaigns, everything you need to know step-by-step -step walkthrough on the post here, there's gonna be a link here. You can go on to Digital Marketing University on bensonson.com to be able to see everything you need to know and expanded content on everything I taught you in this video and how you can do it step-by-step. -step. Now what I want you to do is I want you to comment below too. Let me know what is the first campaign, the first audience that you wanna focus on 
or even show me what is the copy you want to use on your ad and I'll let you know my feedback or if you have any questions related to what you just watched, comment below, I'll get back to you and I'll let you know. So make sure you leave that comment below. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to like this video, like this piece of content. It tells me that you're liking this video, you got value from it and it makes me motivated to make more of these videos for you because I'm doing this so I can add value to you. I don't make any money from this. So this is for us to build a community, one of the fastest growing ones on YouTube to be able to start and grow any business online successfully. The final thing I want you to do is I want you to hit that subscribe button of my face. You can see it right there. Hit that subscribe and you're going to be able to get weekly videos on everything you need to know for traffic, for leads, for generating more sales and customers online. I'm going to teach you all the specific processes that are proven and generate multi-millions of dollars. So thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next one.